We have the Moo Mantras fitted here just over seven months. I found the herd alerts extremely helpful, especially in the months where you mightn't be watching the cows as closely as you are during the breeding season. We've had three or four turn up uh, where cows have been noticeably down in production and we just see on the app that their rumination has dropped and at times we have to intervene with the vet and other times you can see the rumination is coming back up and there's no need for vet intervention so it's very handy to us that way. The app is very straightforward to use, the graphs and stuff like that are incredibly easy to read. We had online training, um, it was an online tutorial one morning, it, was, it lasted about an hour and a half. It was very detailed and went through the majority of the bits and pieces in the app. Once or twice I had to call the office just for a bit of further assistance um, and had answers within minutes. Sex semen has worked very well for us here this year. Um, it's our first year using it on the cows. Um, previous to this we would have used it on the heifers and had a kind of 50-50 success rate with it. This year we've used it on the cows with the help of the collars and the timing and we've uh, noticed today from the scanning results that we have over 60% of those cows in calf to sex semen. We scanned 105 cows and out of that we had 101 in calf with four empty. Last year our empty rate would have been around 12% which would have been a bit disappointing and this year we're after achieving 4% so we're absolutely thrilled. Production wise here we'd be doing around 7,000 litres of milk, we'd be selling around 580 kilos of milk solids through the farm gate to the co-op. They're quite a high producing herd of cows to have a, an empty rate of 4% on, on those figures we're absolutely thrilled. The collars have made a huge difference, especially when the first three weeks of AI is done, uh, getting the repeats is always a more challenging one. And I think this year with weather the way it played out in the spring when we were inseminating, cows were indoors and maybe outdoors for a little while with the weather, it, they made it a lot more straightforward. We'll start drying off here around mid-November. Calving begins here um, the 15th of January normally, uh, could be a few days at either side of that and it'll run right up till the end of March.